Hey everyone, so in this video, we're going to be showing you a Roblox extension that optimizes your website experience and adds a lot of features to Roblox. And a lot of Roblox admins actually use this, so it's not going to get you banned and it's not going to get your account deleted and hacked. It's completely safe. I've had this extension for over a year and my account is fine. So. Do not worry, you can trust this one. Make sure it's real though, okay? Do not get a fake one. This one has 252,000 users, 909 reviews, and it's by Anti Booms. So this extension is called BT Roblox. And it's a very, very, very cool extension and I've had it for a long time. So I wanna share it with you guys because a lot of people ask me how I get all these cool features on Roblox. So we're gonna show off all the features of this extension right now. So first thing you need to do is obviously install it. So go to the Chrome Web Store. It's also on Firefox in case you want to get it. If you use Firefox, there's a way to get it. I'm not sure how to, but there, there's a way to get this. Just search up on Firefox, BT Roblox. But most of you are using Chrome probably. Also, you can't use this on mobile. So I'm sorry, mobile users, but this is only for PC. So you have to go to the Chrome Web Store and then you need to search up BT Roblox. And it should be the first result. Click add to Chrome and then just go to Roblox, click the little gear icon and it's going to say BTR settings. So click that and right here is a menu and there's a lot of things here. So let's let's show off everything here. First of all, there's themes. You can get simply black. There's sky, red and dark as night. Obviously, these aren't going to work because I have dark mode on, but if you turn off dark mode, then these things will work and it's it's pretty cool to have all those themes i just leave it on default so because i because i have the roblox dark mode hide ads that just hides the ads on the website show chat hides the chat show copy id context items so you can copy ids on items pretty helpful instead of going to the url show robux to usd so i don't think this actually actually no wait, this 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 does work so if i go to the avatar shop then I think like it, it should say how much the item is in USD. I know it works for my Ice Falk. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not loading, but like let's say I go to this cartoony animation pack here, then it'll say like $1 in something. Uh, it's not loading right now though. So yeah, let's just skip that. But that, that basically just like changes it. And it says how much the thing the item is in USD pretty cool feature um next up is legacy theme so if i turn that on it just disables dark mode i don't know why you'd want that but if you want it then yeah let's switch back to dark mode okay um then there's fast user search okay a lot of people ask me about this like especially on live streams and things and i always have to tell them that i have an extension for it so what fast user search is is let's say that i'm searching up somebody on roblox Normally, you need to type their name on Roblox, right? So I'll, so I'll put Roblox. And, you, and then you need to click this button. And then you need to wait for it to load. And then you need to click this button. And you need to wait for it to load. And then you get to their profile. But with fast user search on, oops, all you need to do is just type their username in and then click there. And it goes straight to their profile. Super helpful. And it saves a lot of time. I, I use that feature all the time. It's a great thing. Minimize chat. That just makes this little thing right here a little bit smaller. Because I don't like when it's like huge. So it's small. And I like it like that. Lower default audio volume. So let's say that there's like an ear rape on the catalog. It won't be as loud. And it just makes like the noise lower for music. But obviously you can make it louder if you want. This, I don't know what this is. It's just like Robux to USD rates. Keep sidebar open. Um, I'm not sure really what keep sidebar open means. Maybe something to do with this here. Uh, and then modify navigation buttons. So you can actually uh, switch where these things are. So I can like move games over here and then put homes here. That, that's It's a pretty cool feature. And then embed inventory. Okay. So let's say I go to my, my profile, if it could load. Um, so this is my profile, right? And then if I scroll down, 
right here is my inventory. It's actually how it used to be back in the day, but they switched it, so then you have to click this button to see inventory. But yeah, with this extension, you can just scroll down and it shows your whole inventory with everything. Pretty cool feature. It's helpful. Next feature is show last online. I love this so much. Okay, let's go Let's go to um, Bantlo. This guy right here, he's my friend. And as you can see, it says last online two days ago. And then you hover over it and it says the exact time that they went offline. So this guy actually went offline December 14 at 6.48 p.m. It's very exact, and there's actually a couple of games on Roblox that say this information, but it's a lot more convenient to just have it on their profile. And I actually have a friend that hasn't been online in like four years, this guy right here. So as you can see, last online, three years ago. Pretty cool features there. Next up is groups, so group shop notifications. You can get a notification. It's helpful if you like work in a group. Enable redesign. That just like help. Well, that just redesigns the group thing, so it's a little bit different. I think for here, let's go back to home. Okay, now add server list pager. Okay, there's also wait highlight owned badges. Okay, what highlight owned badges is? Uh, let's just go to way for it. Okay, so like if I go over here, it's gonna highlight what badge you own. It's pretty cool. So like I have this badge and I don't have this badge, so it highlights it. As you can see, it's a little bit brighter than these up, these ones right here. It's a pretty cool feature. Okay. So now I don't know what add server list pager is actually. So yeah, that's just that's just there. Now item details, so this all has stuff to do with like items on Roblox and stuff. So item previewer, okay, this is actually really cool. So let me show you this. Okay, let's go to the avatar catalog, avatar shop. I don't know why they renamed it to be honest, but anyways, I'm gonna use the bare face mask, okay? So normally this is what happens, try on 3D. And obviously you could just click the try on button and yeah, but. This is a lot more better. So you can actually move around. You can take off every other hat. And you can even like change this to make a default. It, it's really cool. So it's a lot more better than the try on feature. And then we have show explore button, content, download owners. So owners button, you can see all the owners of the item here. And then there's also a download. So you can download the item. I think the PNG. And this here, you can see like that, yeah, a lot of stuff, pretty cool. Uh, and then let's see, inventory tools. So inventory tools, I guess, is like, um, I don't know what inventory tools is. It's something about in the inventory though. And then there's show owned items, which I think just shows like what items you own in the catalog. So I'm not sure if Roblox, if that's a Roblox feature or not, but there's check marks on what items I own. So maybe that's just the Roblox feature or maybe it's a extension feature. Anyways, that's about all of them. Oh, there's version history and then there's work in progress. So I don't even know what those are. And you can reset everything to default. That's the whole thing. So. It's a really cool extension. I'll be leaving a, a link to it in the description below. So if you want to get this cool extension, go down in the description and you can get it for yourself. And yeah, those are all the features. If you want, you can explore the thing by yourself. And yeah, comment down what you think about this extension. It's a really, really, really helpful thing. So yeah, shout out to Anti-Booms for making this extension. Peace out.